Why, hello. It's been a little while since I've made any videos. And um, uh, basically, that's because I've been working around the clock to um, get a finished working version of the Jono Not Bono Cubase Touch Controller. And I think today is the milestone of actually achieving that. And uh, so I thought it would be fun to record a really short video on just something that I'm particularly really excited about. And I'm hoping other people are going to be excited about this. Um, basically, I don't think this exists anywhere. I've never seen this anywhere in the world. Um, and I have to say thanks to Clelson Lopez. He's a, a friend and Cubase partner in crime that I enlisted in this to uh, help give me a hand with some hardcore coding. And he's basically responsible for scripting the Jono Not Bonophonic Harp. So, you know, I couldn't, couldn't have done this. Well, it probably would have taken me 10 years to learn how to do what he's done. Um, so firstly, some people out there are probably thinking, well, oh, I've got a harp, but I don't know if your harp is velocity sensitive. Multi-touch. Um, of course, uh, all data records in, so, um, hold on, let's, uh, hide all that, it's been a long night, um, right, yes, so let's hit record, and, uh, there you go, records all data in, just in case you were wondering, um, but the exciting thing is about this, is like, you, you know, it, it's, Totally useless, isn't it, if you uh, can't change the keys. So in the circle of fifths, we have all the keys. Um, so let's change it to A, um, harmonic minor. How about D, uh, Dorian? How about um, pentatonic? So you can totally use this in your music. Uh, let's change it to E pentatonic. Let's change it to F sharp pentatonic. And because we love writing in D, let's change it into D Persian. See, now you can actually program realistic glissandi, which has always been an issue with MIDI. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, let's say that you actually want to uh, create your own scales. These here are the pedals, and if I press on a scale, you'll notice that the pedals change to the different accidentals and notes. Um, we have free mode as well, so when you press that, these controls become locked because, well, for obvious reasons, basically this would just go in, like, have a meltdown. Um, but now you can use your finger to select any accidentals you want, have custom exotic scales, all that kind of stuff. go back and change keys and, and use all that stuff because what's the point in using that one? Okay, so what else have we got? Okay, so we can change the actual uh, uh, range of the strings. So we have, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the iPad, but I'll do a proper walkthrough of this whole beast soon. But this at the moment's at C0 and that's at C6. So if we tap on here, we can start the, have the starting note, any note between A to G and um, obviously octave. So let's change that to C2. It instantly changed. Let's change this to C4. And there we have it. The strings are now fat for sausage fingers. And this is useful to stay out of the way of key switches. Um, so C6 is kind of a favorite for me at the moment. It really depends on the library. And then we put that to C0. We also have banking buttons at the bottom. So that's on C0. If I press plus, that's now gone to C1 and C6. C2, C6, C3, C6. So um, I'll just leave it as that. And that does the same thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
who says that you have to um, only use a, a harp, man? Like, how about some ethnic kind of stuff? <laughs> Endless, endless fun. To be or how about a violin? Let's see how this works out. Okay, so obviously we've got to turn this up. So let's change this to a normal. Uh, I don't know. A A Dorian. Obviously, you've got to be mindful of the libraries you use because, um, you know, some aren't designed to be played like that. But, but instantly you can make little roll, uh, runs. Uh, cello. Hits the car just for a bit of fun. Bit thin for my fingers. That's the beauty of being able to adjust them for your finger size as well. Yes, anyway, that is the uh, J&B harp, and uh, hopefully I have a walkthrough soon, and then this bad boy is going to be up for sale soon. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a long old road, but more to follow.